This video provides an overview of tools that can be used in the IEC 61850 engineering process. This presentation was originally given by Triangle Microworks President Jim Coates at the 2014 IEC 61850 conference in Prague. Triangle Microworks has many tools which are used by IEC 61850 users to increase the interoperability of their devices and systems. We will highlight a few of the capabilities, including system configuration testing, IED configuration to SCD comparison, creating and checking SCL files, and educational tools. Triangle Microworks supports the IEC 61850 engineering process in a few different areas. Starting from the IED template on the left-hand side of the diagram, the IEC 61850 test suite allows users to test client and server devices. Anvil can simulate an IEC 61850 server from an ICD file, including building the object model and implementing the defined services and control blocks. Hammer can simulate an IEC 61850 client and connect to either real or simulated server devices. SCL Forge can be used to create the IED template for a device, including the complete object model, services, and control blocks. The Distributed Test Manager, or DTM, can simulate the communication protocols and data models for hundreds of devices on a single computer or spread across a network of computers. Based on the SCD or any other SCL file, DTM simulates the communications and the object model for each IED. DTM also has the ability to model the behavior of each device through built-in scripting or state machine capability. The test coverage of DTM includes the configuration definitions in the SCL, the network used in the test, and any real hardware used in the test. This allows users to verify the configuration of publishers, subscribers, clients, and servers within a mix of real and simulated components. SCL files are used throughout the engineering process. Triangle Microworks offers a new tool called the SCL Consistency and Completeness Check, which allows users to check SCL files against the IEC 61850 standard and check for any inconsistent configuration definitions. The SCL checking capability is built into all of the 61850 test suite tools. DTM can test the system configuration for an IEC 61850 substation. DTM can read a system configuration design, or SCD file, and instantiate the IEDs that the user would like to simulate. The communications of the station bus or process bus can be tested based on the configurations defined in the SCD file. This allows the configuration to be debugged in the lab before commissioning. Users can mix real and simulated components in the test system in order to test different devices in the system environment. One use case for DTM is testing the configuration of the process bus for a substation. As shown in this diagram, the process bus is used for goose and sampled values messages across a variety of devices, including protection relays, merging units, and bay controllers. From this network view, it appears very easy to set up the connections between all of these devices with a networking bus. However, there are many different publishers and subscribers that must be configured correctly to ensure the right data is being received by the right device. Now we look at the publisher and subscriber view, and we see the true complexity of the system. DTM allows the user to simulate all of the devices and their configurations based on the SCD file. This includes the object model, data sets, goose control blocks, external references, MAC addresses, and virtual LANs. With the simulated system in DTM, the user can then change data in one publisher device and verify that the data is received through Goose by the correct subscriber devices. Here we can walk through the Goose verification process. The user instantiates the relevant IEDs from the SCD file with DTM's interactive guide. The user can change data in a publisher IED through one of many different data simulation methods in DTM. When data in a publisher is changed, a Goose message is published if the data is part of a data set that is part of a Goose control block. The published Goose message is then received by all devices which are subscribed through external reference definitions in the input section of the SCD file. The user can then verify the data was received by the subscriber through one of the available simulation methods or using the Goose monitor. For example, the user can map Goose data into the subscriber IED's object model and view the data change directly in the IED's model.
There are many options for data simulation. With the manual method, the user can directly change data in the server object model. With the automatic method, DTM can automatically set data to random values on a regular interval. Table-driven data changes allow the user to import and playback states from a CSV file. Each column in the CSV file represents a state, and each row represents a data object in the server object model. These CSV files can be captured from real devices using the test tool Hammer. DTM also has built-in scripting through JavaScript or graphical scripting with flowcharts and state diagrams. This allows the user to create custom logical behavior for a device. For example, the IED behavior can be modeled to start a certain process when a goose message is received. Custom displays can be created to model different parts of the system, including HMI displays, single line diagrams, or IED front panels. One feature of the Hammer tool in the IEC 61850 test suite is the ability to compare the configuration of a device with an SCD file. Hammer can load the configuration of a server device through the IEC 61850 discovery service. The user can then compare this against one of the IEDs in the SCD file. Hammer then highlights the differences in the two, including the object model, control blocks, and data sets. This helps users identify potential areas where a device is not being configured as defined in the SCD file. SCL Forge has many SCL editing and checking capabilities. It is designed to allow users to build and edit ICD template files, as well as edit the configuration of any SCL file. Users can add data sets, control blocks, services, logical nodes, and data objects. Addition 1 SCL files can be converted to Addition 2. SCL consistency and completeness checking is also built into the tool. SCL files contain a lot of different configuration information, all the way from IEDs up to the system level. There are many parts of SCL that need to be checked to ensure interoperability of devices and correct configuration of the system. At the lowest level, the XML schema defined in the IEC 61850 standard must be checked. Moving up a level, the entire object model must be checked to ensure that other devices can parse the model and resolve all elements. Also, the model must be checked against the standard to make sure that mandatory data objects are included in logical nodes. The configuration of the communication section must be checked for consistency with control blocks, access points, and logical devices in other parts of the file. Other aspects of communication configuration cannot be checked inside the SCL file alone and must be done with other system testing tools. The substation section must be checked with system configuration tools which have access to system level information. Vendor specific sections like private fields and GGIOs must be checked by vendor tools. All of this means that independent tools are needed. Triangle Microworks has created a free online tool for checking SCL files. The functionality of this tool is the same as what is built into the IEC 61850 test suite. The tool covers many different sections of the IEC 61850 standard relating to SCL. This free online service is offered in order to help the IEC 61850 community advance the use of the standard towards greater interoperability. Protocol training videos are now available for free on the Triangle Microworks website. These training resources are available in order to help improve the implementation and continued adoption of the standard communication protocols that Triangle Microworks supports. Addition 2 of the IEC 61850 standard includes external references, which is a very important improvement to the subscription process. Within the SCD file, each IED can define external references in their input section of any logical node. This allows the subscriber to define which publisher, control block, and data object will be used as an input. The benefit is that the entire publisher to subscriber configuration is now contained in the SCD file so that Goose, sampled values, reports, and other services can be configured with SCL and without private fields for greater interoperability. This has the potential to streamline the engineering process and improve the interoperability of IEC 61850 related tools.